What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of you guys out there are doing well. So this is going to be a twin flame reading, but this is going to be particularly for my divine feminines, okay? I'm going to tap into your energy and see what messages Spirit has for you guys. So the angel numbers we have today is the number 10. This talks about inspiration and positive thinking is needed at this time. So I feel like right now, Divine Feminine, you guys could be undergoing some changes or you're getting ready to move forward, maybe getting ready to take a new path on this journey. And I feel like inspiration and positive thinking is going to be needed. And then we have 515. There are some important changes that you must undergo at this time. So I feel like, you know, there are some changes, there are some things that's going to change for you, but they're going to change in a positive direction. At first, it may not seem so positive, you know, but I feel like things are moving forward in a more positive direction. So when you undergo these changes and when these changes come about, I feel like you guys are going to have to think about this in a more positive way. You know, so this could be talking about maybe your twin, you know, coming into union with your twin, whether you want to or not, you know, there's still some type of healing that needs to be done. So there's going to be positive thinking that needs to happen along this journey. All right, you guys, so let's get into these messages. Okay, so the first card we have here is, I have learned my lessons, now I must take a new path. So I feel like Divine Feminists, now you have learned your lessons, and those are the important changes, you know, that you are undergoing. It's like maybe learning the rest of your lessons, or if you've learned your lessons, it's like now you're getting ready to take some type of new path. So if you're seeing the numbers 10 or 515, that's when you know that some changes are coming and that you need to think positive because you're getting ready to go on some type of new path. You guys have completed cycles and now you're going in a new direction. Okay, then we have, I am truly sorry for breaking your heart and making you feel like you are not enough. So your divine masculine wants you to know that they're sorry for breaking your heart and making you feel like that you are not enough in this connection. You know, when this person played games with you, when they played mind games, when they told you they were going to do things and didn't do it, when they told you they loved you or expressed themselves and then turned around and ghosted you and you didn't hear from them for weeks or months at a time, you know, that made you feel like, well, why is this person treat me like this? You know, am I not enough or, you know, what am I doing wrong? And it wasn't you. It was just your twin was awakening those insecurities that you already had inside of you and that you need to heal from those things. So I want to say, you know, Divine Feminine, if you felt some type of way, because I'm not going to lie, on my journey for the longest, I felt the way about my twin and how they made me feel like I was not enough. But then when you think about it, Divine Feminine, remember on the twin flame journey, you're one soul that's split into two halves, the divine feminine and the divine masculine. So a lot of times you and your twin mirror each other. So guess what? When they made you feel like you weren't enough, guess what? They didn't think they were enough either. So it was like whatever insecurities, you know, this person had on them, it's kind of like they inflicted those insecurities or you begin to see those insecurities within yourself. So just don't, you know, so when you look at the situation, it's like later on, you know, I don't know where y'all are at on your journey, but it's like if you're, it's like at some point in time, you have to kind of have compassion for your twin. Like I, I listen to tarot, I still listen to tarot readers now. And, you know, and I remember them telling me about I was going to have to have compassion and, you know, let my twin know it's going to be all right. And I was like, what the fuck for? They didn't let me know it was going to be all right when I was over here losing my damn mind. But it was like, when you're that divine feminine, it's like, you know, a lot of times you're going to be further ahead than your divine masculine on this journey. So they prepared you ahead of time to kind of like be the bigger person in this situation. Whether you fucking want to be the bigger person or not, that's the, the level that you're elevating to, that you have to take that leadership role. You know, be that empress. Be in that empress energy and just understand and be compassionate for them and they fucked up ass, okay? And your divine masculine saying they understand why now that you have to set boundaries. This person understand when you chose to pull your energy away and to not deal with this person. You know, because I feel like your divine masculine, they felt like it was a game. And maybe it kind of was a game. You know, y'all were on and off. And this person always felt like they can always come back to you because you always were kind of there for them to come back to. You know, you allowed them to come back because you probably were in that chasing energy. It was like you still had abandonment issues that you need to hand, you know, heal from yourself. And so you didn't like when your twin abandoned you. So when they came back, you were always there wanting them, you know, allowing them to come back. But you had to set boundaries and let your twin know, like, no, you cannot be in and out of my life. Either you're going to be in my life or you're going to be out of my life. 
And your twin wants you to know they're sorry for pushing you away. They knew that they loved you. They knew that you were the love of their life, but they had some issues and things they need to deal with on their own. So they pushed you away. And this person did not want to change. They're really comfortable with who they were. So I feel like this is the biggest part that your twin is having issues with at this time because they didn't want to change. They like being in that low vibrational ass energy, playing games and hurting people hearts and doing shit like that because that's how they were feeling. And this person, you made them feel uncomfortable. So I feel like your twin could have been intimidated by you at some point in time. And it was like, you made this person feel uncomfortable. And they feel like, uh-uh, this person got too many standards. They had too many expectations for me. So they went toward people that they that didn't have expectations and standards. Can I get some more messages from my divine feminine? So some of you guys, you could have been questioning in the past or wondering why you haven't heard from your divine masculine like when they ghosted you. Or, you know, some of you guys could be questioning now, like, why haven't you you heard from this person? I feel like a lot of you guys, you're getting ready to break a lot of generational curses. Whatever generational curses you have in your family, it's like, you're getting ready to break those things. And that's why Spirit is saying you're getting ready to undergo you know, some changes. You're getting ready to go on a new path. Some of you guys, if you have not already broke those generational curses, you are going to. And congratulations to those who have. What messages do you have from our Divine Feminine? You could be seeing this person's name everywhere. I feel like this is for some of you guys who possibly have not met your twin. It's like, you're, like you've are like been seeing different signs and synchronicities of this person's name. And you're like, who the fuck is this person? You know what I'm saying? So you could be seeing your person's name everywhere. This could be how your twin is feeling about you. Maybe they're seeing your name everywhere. My goodness. Okay. Then we have, it's too late to apologize. You had me waiting too long. So some of the Divine Feminines, you know, we feel, I'm going to say we, because that's the same energy I feel with you, Divine Feminine. You know, it. it's like at some point in time, when are you going to take accountability for how, you know, you made me feel? You know, and so it's like you guys are saying, like, it's too late to apologize. So I feel like when your Divine Masculine comes in and wants to apologize, Y'all ain't gonna be trying to hear that shit, you know, because they made you wait too fucking long for this apology. This apology was way the fuck overdue. And it's like, now you understanding that you will never chase another person again. After dealing with your twin, uh-uh. And a lot of you guys, you feel like this person took way too long. So I feel like some of you guys are over this twin flame journey. And that's why you're undergoing some changes. Because now you're going to be set on some type of new path where you are going to be met with your divine soulmate. All right, y'all. That's all I have for you guys. I hope something here has resonated with my feminists. I love you. Continue to work on yourselves and love yourself, too. Bye-bye.